To balance this equation, copper 2 sulfate plus sodium hydroxide yields copper 2 hydroxide plus sodium sulfate. Let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. So I have one copper atom here on the reactants. And then instead of writing the S and the O separately, I see there's SO4 here, and then I have another polyatomic, the SO4 over here. So I'm just going to write SO4, and I have one of them. Sodium, I have one. And I see again here I have OH, and then I have OH on this side. So I just have one OH here. And that makes adding these up a lot easier. Over on the products, I have the one copper. I have the one sulfate, the SO4. I have two sodiums. And then the hydroxides, the OH, I have two of those, because this two applies to everything. So I have two of those. To balance the equation, I think I'm going to start by fixing the NAs, the sodiums. So I need two on the reactant side. I'm going to put a two coefficient right in front of the NaOH. That'll apply to everything here. So I have, let's do the OHs. I have OH, one of them, times the two. That'll give me two oxygens. Remember, we counted that with the OH, so we're not going to mess with that. The sodiums, so I have one times the two. That gives me two there. And we have achieved our goal of balancing the sodiums. And we ended up balancing the OH, those hydroxide groups. Everything else is the same. And we're done with this equation. We've balanced it. The key here is if you see a polyatomic ion like SO4 and it's on both sides, or the OH, the hydroxide, and it's on both sides, you can just count it as one thing. And that makes the balancing much easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus NaOH yields CuOH2 plus Na2SO4. And thanks for watching.